Joseph Young is a loving grandfather with a passion for bowling. He is also a retired police officer whose biggest battle came after he left the force. I was diagnosed three years ago with uh, prostate cancer and uh, I was given options to have radiation treatment, do surgery, or um, don't do anything. I chose not to do anything. His diagnosis and decision to forego chemotherapy came as a great shock to his family. Anybody who hears about someone they really love having cancer, I can say would probably feel sad. It was really sad to see how he felt when they gave him the news that he had cancer as well. It was like, you know, how we're going to say it to the kids, to the children, that their dad and grandpa has cancer. His doctors prescribed medications to prevent the cancer from spreading and reduce inflammation. But Mr. Young had his own treatment plan, spending more time with his family and doing what he loved. He would go on his bowling trips with the family and, you know, basically just spending time together, eating dinners together, spending more quality time together. He has sore legs a lot, so um, when I have time, I help massage his feet, and then my mom and I got him massaging machines to help massage his legs and his back area, and we try to help him as much as we can at home. Three years later, he was declared cancer-free. While he still takes medicine to keep the cancer from recurring, this unexpected turn of events let everyone breathe a sigh of relief. The recovery for me it has to do with my willpower to, to tell myself or that this disease will not beat me. I will I refuse to um, say that, you know, this disease is going to take my life. I, I won't accept it, so I fought back. With 70 years of experience, Mr. Young is determined not to let his medical problems slow him down. He continues to lead an active lifestyle with a positive outlook. He has a very strong-minded, very strong inner spirit. He encourages others to be strong and for us to just, you know, count our blessings every day and, you know, just be thankful that we're, he's still here. Mr. Young always puts family first. This is an important life lesson he feels everyone should know. They're always there and, and they're giving me support and that's a big plus. Enjoy your life, make every moment count, um, whether it's, you know, having fun out there on the beach, you know, just bowling or doing things you want to do and look for tomorrow. That's it. And it's going to, you, you'll be a survivor, you just keep going. Because of his loving family and love for life, Mr. Young is forever grateful to be a survivor. This is Raghav Kumar from Kapa'a Middle School for Hiki Note.